Welcome back to FTL Faster Than Light Hardcore Playthrough. Today, we're in Sector 4. Boom, Slug Home Nebula. Here's our goal. We're going to have to go through a lot of nebula to get there. And to be honest, we might not make it. But god damn it, we're going to try. Uh, I don't think, I've only got 30 scrap right off the bat. I don't think it's safe to go to the store. We'll give ourselves one chance to go to the store. Maybe we'll pick up some scraps on this jump. We'll just have to see how it goes. Either this part of Slug Space is deserted. Okay, so there's absolutely nothing here. So we have to pass on the store. I'm thinking we go here, 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 here. That's going to be just the fastest mode to get there. All we want to do is get through the sector. Remember, our goal is survival, not winning. <laughs> A heavily damaged Federation ship is hiding in the nebula at this beacon. Before you have time to make contact with them, they fade into the nebula. You know what? Fuck it. Let's attempt to follow them. Your search is hopeless. Alright, well, that did nothing. Another store. I mean, this is where we're going anyway. Maybe we'll see some a person for sale that's less than 30. Who knows? You cautiously approach a slug colony on a huge asteroid. It's a brave person who sets foot on a slug planet. It can take weeks to get the mucus out of your clothes. That's disgusting. Uh, yeah. Yeah, we can't afford anything. We might as well fix it up and buy a few fuel while we're here. And, uh, I guess a few missiles. Might as well use up our scrap that we have, right? This might be a really quick one today. Alright, next one. Your sensors have picked up a refugee ship drifting through the system. No doubt one of many fleeing the rebel advance. It doesn't appear to have detected you, or else it's trying to avoid notice. Let's hail them. And we have to fight them. Alright, let's do this. We got our missiles on. We will lock that. I'm going to go ahead and lock that on shields. And then we can go ba ba boom Alright, missiles are just about locked up. Oh, they have more shots than I had anticipated. I'm going to change this to go on weapons. Come on. Yes. Oh, and we breached as well. That's that's good. I'm going to stay with the missile for this next volley. Our artillery beam is about halfway charged. All right, they've got another shot. Oh, just missed. And let's take out their weapons entirely. All right, that's a hit. I'm switching to burst laser. I believe this has three shots, so we should be able to take out their engines with this three shot here, and then our artillery is going to sweep in. Alright, here comes the artillery. Oh, good. Kept their weapons down. Sticking with the burst laser. Okay, their engines and piloting are still damaged. Let's keep those weapons out of commission. Alright, they've only got one health left, so it looks like this next volley will take them out. Doesn't really matter where I focus. Might as well be on the oxygen, right? Ah! One of our few victories on this playthrough where we actually beat a ship. We get some nice scrap from them. Fuel. Oh, and we get some scrap from them and a missile. Nice. All right. Next jump. Could go here and then here. I think I'm going to go here, here, and here. Just get, you know... We don't want to take too many extra shots, but we really do need a little bit of extra scrap for any stores. You explore around the beacon and are shocked when a rock the size of a small moon suddenly looms ahead of you. I feel like that's not a rock. Scans revealed the solid-looking rock is just a husk, almost entirely mined out of useful mi minerals. Oh good, completely useless. Alright, do we go here? Or here? I'm gonna go down. Going down. Alright, let's see if it'll pay off. Completely empty. Okay. Uh, we might jump to one of these extra ones just to keep it a little more interesting and get past the old five minute mark. Alright. Nothing in this jump beacon. Let's try out this one and then we'll go back and jump to the next sector. Slug Captain hails and invites himself aboard your ship to present a flask of something slimy. Now, most gracious captain, you must join me, please, in a drink to our alliance. Have your rockman pose as captain. I will. 
Your crew member is able to identify a heavy anesthetic contained in the flask when he feels slightly drowsy. Uh-oh. Looks like we gotta fight him. Oh, he does have a missile launcher. I'm gonna switch to the missiles. I think... Oh, a oh, rock has taken a little, uh... A little bit of damage to this one, but I think he's still good. Oh. Oh, man, their missile missed. I'm gonna say we're going for weapons again, because I don't want to have that missile shooting too many at us, because that is the big danger here. Alright, we've taken out their missile launcher. Ooh, we narrowly missed a shot from their missile, but I'm gonna keep my, my missiles trained on theirs. Come on, land. Yes, alright. Switching to the burst laser. Our artillery beam is gonna come soon enough. I think if I time this right, we can get maximum damage with the old artillery beam. But I think it's gonna come... let's see here. Oh, perfect timing. I'm gonna let them live, however. Alright, we got some extra materials there. Okay, let... oh, there's a store. I'm going for it. I'm going for the store. We've got a lot of scrap. Even if it's just for one augment. Stealth weapons isn't gonna help me. That's not really gonna help me. That's not really gonna help me either. Son of a bitch. We can get another crew member, however. Um, which I don't I don't think uh, a Zoltan would help entirely right now. They provide power to the room they're in, but since we can't upgrade anything, that's not gonna do much. So I'm gonna go with uh, Kevin Fish here because he will provide twice as fast um, repair speed and he can man our doors which will give them a little bit of a boost there we go now we got some better blast doors let us jump to oh we got to jump all the way back to our <laughs> our exit beacon all right using up a little bit of precious fuel there though all right next sector our only choice the Engi homeworlds let's do it Oh, nice clear beacon. Let's just take a look at our... Alright, we have a totally empty one. We've got Distress here. Hopefully there's a few stores on our route. Uh, we'll see if we go for that Distress. But, we've made it to Sector 5. Sector 4 is donezo. Hopefully next time we will survive through the Sector and get to Sector 6. But until then, thanks for watching. Have a good fucking day. Bye bye